God knows what he's doing. He's a great, big, wonderful God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Would you stand tonight? Let's just invite the presence of the Lord. He's worthy of praise. Amen? Amen. 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 All right. Amen. Let's pray for all those that will be uh, traveling this coming week and next weekend, should the Lord tarry for uh, the eclipse and everything, that God can somehow just wake us up to see what he wants us to see and touch us all physically and spiritually and emotionally and let his will be accomplished. Amen? Yes. Remember the church belongs to the Lord. Yes. It's his Amen. church. We're his body. Amen? Amen. Sister Brenda? Uh, Brother, I have just such a hard time for my family and grandchildren and I know that God's going to bring them through this and that they're going to be in much need of prayer. Yes. Amen. Amen. God knows the needs. There's uh, just seems like relentless. You just find out, you know, others struggling. And uh, I've got family that I had, I had been so encouraged about that was getting in and, and realizing a hunger. And it seems like they're drawing back. But God knows. Amen. Amen. Let's Amen. just pray and commit this service into his hands and pray that God revive us. Amen. Amen. Father, we love you tonight. We just thank you and we praise you, Lord, for your goodness and for your mercy. I praise you tonight, God, for the liberty of the Holy Ghost, Lord. And God, that you know what you're doing in each heart, each home. Oh, God. You said it ever. Thank you, thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you, Lord. Lord, we thank you, we praise you, we trust you.
tonight. Yes. 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 Sharper and spittier yes. than Brother Tim. <laughs> I thought of her until I saw Robert. <laughs> Amen. Good to have each of you in the house of the Lord tonight. Amen. Amen. Page 177. Thank God for the blood. Amen. Regardless of the ups and downs, regardless, amen. Remember, 
the guy that said, I started out serving the Lord somewhere along here. He said, I don't know, I may be here, I may be closer to then. But he said, between here and here, there's been a lot of ups and downs. He said, wait a minute. He just said, I didn't say ins and outs. I said ups and downs. And it's not just mental ascent. But it is having a made up mind. Amen. I'm telling you, I feel better in my spirit just knowing that I've got a backing up here. Just knowing since church started that the Holy Ghost, amen, has got the church and he knows what he's doing. Just knowing that God is in control. Amen. I love him and I praise him and appreciate him. Amen. And this is your chance to testify if you want. All right, we're going to come to you for tonight's offering. Just give this giving to the Lord. And God bless you always for your faithfulness. Amen. Let us fall in heaven. We thank you for his faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, that we have risen, Lord Jesus. Help us to remember we serve a risen God. It was an empty tomb, Lord. We ask that you bless us tonight, Father, and give to give us a cheerful heart. Lord, we ask that you bless the gift tonight as well as the gift. We ask this in the mighty name of Christ, Lord. Amen. Amen. resurrection morn. Yes, Amen. Yes. For Mary, he's going to come and be with us. Amen. All right. I'm, I'm, I'll testify. Okay. <laughs> he'll, he'll practice for the song later. Okay. All right. Um, well, this one, uh, I love the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hey, God knows what he's doing, don't he? 
Amen. We don't know what God's doing in a lot of hearts and lives when they come. I mean, we don't know. Amen. But thank God he's here. All right. Amen. Anybody? Sister Hazel. All right. Praise the Lord. I was being creative. You want the mic? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't. Uh, this song, I heard it this week, and it's just been on my heart, and um, it's fitting for... <coughs> Today, Sister Hazel, right? come on up here. And every day, you know, um, it's just a little chorus. I'll sing it from here, okay. and I think you guys right. can help me okay. with some of it. it. Says, I owed a debt I could not pay. He paid the debt he did not owe. I needed. Amen. How can we expect those 
out there right. to be excited about. Right. right. You're right. right. That's right. We've got to stir it up with the Yes, us. amen. Yes. Yes. And get excited yes. about it first. Yes. Glory. You know, so that others looking at, they can see that excitement. That's right. Right. Amen. You know, and I just give God praise. Thank you. You know, Jesus. that amen. He paid that debt yes. for yes. me. Because I could not pay it. Right. He suffered and yes. he died amen. for me. Amen. And I thank Him so much yes. for just loving yes. me. Yes. And amen. I love Him. With all of my heart. Amen. And give God thanks for the day yes. that He yes. spoke to my heart, that He saved me. Amen. And I give God thanks for that. Yes. You know, um, I was just thinking about it this morning to hear. I mean, this this church here holds a lot of memories yeah. for me. Yeah. A lot of memories. And I do remember that it was it was here that I accepted the, the Lord as my Lord. Yes. Glory to God. In Amen. this place. Yes. In this house. Yes. Yes. It was in here. And you hear my husband say it. That the Lord got a hold of him. Yes. And filled him yes. with the Holy Ghost. Yes. It was in this place. Yes. yes. You know, and Thank it just Jesus. holds so much memories for me. You know, and I just, we just got to be excited. Yes, amen. amen. We just got to be excited. Yes, I love the amen. Lord. Yes. I love him with all of my heart. Amen. Oh, just pray for me. Continue amen. to pray for me. Amen. 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 I tell you, God, Hallelujah. God does it, doesn't he? Yes. Amen. Yes, amen. We'll just let him. He's faithful. Amen. Amen. Yes. Line upon line, precept yes. upon precept. Here a little, amen. there a little. For some it was Sunday morning, for some it was Sunday night, for Hallelujah. others it was maybe Tuesday night, I think for me it was Thursday night, but whenever it was, amen, God got on to me, saved me on Sunday night, filled me with the Holy Ghost, amen, wasn't even having church, just I was having church, amen, yes. but thank God amen. we are the church, amen, amen. Yes. all right, anybody else want to testify, good to see Brother Smith come in, amen. appreciate him for making the way, amen. Come on, Brother Smith. Well, Pastor, I uh, love the Lord. I just want to say something uh, uh, that kind of connects with uh, today, uh, Resurrection Sunday. But, uh, you know, when Mary Magdalene, she goes to the sepulcher early in the morning uh, while it was yet dark. Right. To start with. Uh, she meets Jesus in this encounter. And some of the Gospels have more to say than some of the other Gospels. But uh, the Lord tells Mary Magdalene to tell, go back to the apostles and tell them that I will meet with them in Galilee. Yes. That's about 100 miles away, by the way. Uh, so she goes back and, of course, she tells them to do that. And, of course, uh, in, in one of the Gospels, it mentions a mountain there. You know, I've never read about a mountain, Pastor. I've never heard it preached about. Well, what mountain is it? Uh, in Galilee, and uh, I've checked it out on the internet, and I've checked it out with uh, different, uh, you know, scenarios where they talk about certain things. Uh, however, there is one gigantic rock mountain near Magdalene, or Magdala, which is on the northwest side. That's probably where Jesus told them uh, the area where he was going to be. Of course, you know, was, they end up going there. They did what they were told. And of course, they were out there fishing. And you know the story, and I know not everybody here has heard this. Some have probably heard it before. But, uh, you know, some people feel, oh, they just went back to fishing and do, doing their old stuff. None of that's true. The reason that they were there is because the Lord told Mary Magdalene to tell them to go there, and they were there. And they Praise were the Lord. Maybe if they didn't fish, they wouldn't have. Hey. So anyway, they're there, and then we get to John chapter 21, a uh, wonderful part of the story, and of course they're out there fishing, and they don't, you know, uh, now the sun's coming up, uh, they're in the boat, and they're about uh, uh, 200 cubits away from the shore or so, and uh, there's mystery man on, on the shore, <coughs> and uh, he's doing a fish fry. Well, who is this mystery man? 
And uh, now you, you got to remember now, obviously, the Lord is already resurrected from the dead, right? We know right. That's day one. Amen. And we know 40 days later, he's going to be taken up in the cloud and go back to heaven, right? Mm -hmm. But this day, we don't know what day it is. And that's by design, I, I believe. So they're there, and they're fishing, and they have a So mystery, man, uh, you know, did you guys catch anything? No, we haven't caught anything. And you know, the fish don't go to the net during the daytime, because they know they're going to get caught. You may not know this. That's why they fish at night. And they fished all night. They didn't catch anything, right? Come on. So mystery man tells them to cast their net on the right side of the ship. And of course, they, they do that. And they pluck up 153 fish. So it's not a full net, well, not a full net, right? But it's 100, this is the only time it names the number of the fish, right? Okay, so so what's all that about? Well, you know, my own, uh, my, my friend Ron Inch is of the opinion that when you read that text in, in uh, John chapter 21, it says they pulled up 123 or 153 great fishes. And the word in the Greek is magus. And the word magus is where you get your word million from. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what's that about? So, okay, so they cast a net, right side of the ship, they pluck up 153 fish. Is it conceivable that this story is about the rapture? And it's about 151, 153 million people going up to the rapture. Now, I believe it is. And I'm going to share why I think it is. Because the very next words out of Jesus' mouth is, come and dine. Right. Yeah. Come and dine. Does that ring a bell? Marriage, yeah. supper of the Lamb. Yeah. Isn't that what happens after the rapture? Amen. Amen. Right? Okay. I never got that in Sunday school class. No. Okay. Is that exciting? It's very exciting. Yeah. Of course. And then Peter realizes it's the Lord, right? And, yeah. and he jumps out and squints to shore and the others. They're there, and they're, they're doing the fish fry with Jesus. And, of course, Peter, who denied Jesus three times, has an opportunity. Uh, you know, Jesus asked him if he loved him, and he asked him three times. And, and you, know, you know, he does love him, obviously. But here's, here's the point, too. We don't know what day that is, how many days after the resurrection. But we do know on the 40th day, he's going to go up in the cloud. And 40 times 50 is 2,000. Ooh. <coughs> What's that about? Is it conceivably possible you go up in the cloud? Glory. About 2,000 years later. And that's where we are right now. Amen. So it's a, it's a great fish story. I didn't mean to take up a lot of time, Pastor, but there's a lot of prophecies in these stories. Yeah. And this is the era of the Messiah. Right. He is coming. Amen. In this generation. So we have to be ready. That's a great story. Just praise God. Yes. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Isn't God good? Amen. Amen. Said, Man, 153 million. That's a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of pizza. And he's not, he's not starting a doctrine. He said that's what he believes. And it's a meticulous, fabulous thought. Amen. I want to be one of the 153 million if that's the case. Amen. But if you look at the 153 million next to seven, seven and a half billion, however many is on the planet, uh, you know, that's not very many. And uh, it's few. And I want you to know he's coming. And God help us to be ready. Amen? All right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sister Hannah. All right. Sister Hannah's going to come and minister in song for us today. Worship the Lord as she ministers in song. Amen. I thank the Lord for my daughter-in-law. Amen. Oh, so 
bottles tonight. Amen. Amen. It was a beautiful thing. Thank God. Amen. 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 Aren't you glad that God does just what he says? Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm going to uh, uh, read in Colossians uh, 1. I didn't know if I was going to read in Galatians or Colossians or Romans or what. Uh, in in uh, Colossians chapter one, and uh, <clears throat> really the verse that uh, really the only verse that I. Uh, kind of stuck in my mind is verse 10 and uh, Colossians 1 and 10 Amen that you might walk worthy that you might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Yes. Strengthened with all might according to his glorious power. Unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. Giving thanks unto the Father which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us unto the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and he is, and by him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. And having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself by him. I say whether there be things in earth or things in heaven. And you that were sometime alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works. Yet now hath he reconciled in the body of his flesh through death. To present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. If ye continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which ye have heard, and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, whereof I, Paul, am made a minister. Amen. Uh, verse 24, and now rejoice. I was going to just stop at verse 20, but uh, I'll read. Verse 24, who now rejoice in my suffering for you and fill up that which is behind of the affliction of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake, which is the church, whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God, even the mystery which hath made hid from ages, even the mystery which hath been hid from ages, and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints, to whom God would make known what is the riches of his glory and his mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory, Amen. whom we preach, warning every man, and teaching every man in all wisdom, that we may pre present every man perfect in Christ Jesus, 
whereunto I also labor, striving according to his working, with working which worketh in me mightily. Amen. Amen. Boy, I tell you what, I wish I could say like Paul, which worketh in me mightily. mightily. And I tell you what, he's a mighty God. Amen. 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 All right. Praise the Lord. Brother Donovan, won't you pray tonight over this vessel? Amen. Oh, God, our Heavenly Father, Father, we come to you once more again, God. Asking for your anointing, O oh Master. We ask that you anoint the preacher, O oh God. We ask that you anoint the hearts that are listening. Break the Father God to see his hearts up, O oh God, that they may receive your word. In good honor we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you. Amen. For standing for the reading. And uh, I chose for a title uh, tonight, Walking Faithfully. And I ran across a, an outline, and really the only thing uh, about the outline that stuck out in my mind, I was thinking about being a faithful Christian. Being a faithful Christian. And when I read in Colossians that 10th verse, I ran across this outline, and it talked about that you might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing. Amen. Being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might according to his glorious power, unto all patience and longsuffering and joyfulness, giving thanks unto the Father, which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. I could go on and read ever through the verse 20 again, but I won't. But I want you to know uh, you can give glory to God with everything that is in you. Amen. You can give praise and, and, and love the Lord with what you've got. Amen. You say, well, uh, you know, my voice don't sound very good tonight. But uh, thank God, nobody can praise the Lord for me. Right. Amen. And I want to praise Him. As long as I can praise Him, I want to praise Him. But it says being worthy in verse 10. Mm -hmm. Being worthy. God knows our heart. He knows the meditations of our heart. He knows the secret chambers of our mind. Amen. Amen. Where we've been in our mind and where we've been in our heart and, and where we are with the Lord. Are we trusting what man can do unto us and for us? Or are we trusting what God can do for us Amen. and in us and through us for His glory? Right. Not for our glory, but for His glory. Amen. But it, verse 9 says, For this cause we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you. I want you to know Paul was excited. You know, they said that Paul had never been to Colossae. Amen. Uh, uh, who is it? Uh, Atrophine. What was the guy's name? That was there. Anyway, uh, someone that Paul had won to the Lord. I read all this today. It's pretty wild. But, uh, huh? Yes, that's him. I still can't find him. What verse? Verse 7. Okay. As you also learned of Epaphras. Yes, there you go. Amen. Our dear fellow servant, who is for you a faithful minister in Christ. And I want you to know, uh, Paul had never been to Colossae, but God had been to Colossae. Amen. 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 How had God been, and I'm, he may have traveled and been there, I don't know, but I do know one thing. He had been there through the faithful men and women of God that loved him, and he came to take his abode within them, and he was there. And you know, everything that we do, we need to do for the glory of God. We need to do to be faithful to God, striving, amen, for men and women to see, to hear. To understand the things of God. What happened is there's some doctrine going along that's not really that sound doctrine. They're being kind of led astray in some areas. And, and I didn't get into it. I just was reading in the commentaries a little bit. But I want you to know tonight that Jesus loves you. He loves you right where you are in Him tonight. But He has a better place in Him for you. Amen? Amen? What are you saying, Pastor? I'm trying to tell you as you hunger and thirst after righteousness, as you seek the Lord with 
with all your heart, with your whole heart, with all that is within you, God is going to be glorified through you, even in ways that you may not understand. You've got to be faithful. Amen. Amen. Do it. Do it. Even when it seems like, amen, it may be almost embarrassing for you. Do it when it seems like that you're not giving much that is very honorable to the Lord. I mean, God is deserving of a beautiful voice. God is deserving, amen, of a sound mind that can think clearly about everything. God is deserving of, of not just one or two or three little points that's there, but God's deserving of a, of a message that's set on fire from God. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Why? Because God is wanting to change us. Uh, uh, Sister Hazel uh, said the testimony about being excited and getting, amen, excited about the Lord. And you and I need to be busy about the Master's business. Be on fire for the Lord with all of our heart. Our soul, our mind, and our strength. Love Him faithfully. Use what God has given you to use. That He may be glorified. Amen. Use it. Because it may not always be that tomorrow's use of your voice, of your ability, of your, of your power, or whatever, your handshake, your hug as you women hug the women. Tomorrow, that, that uh, uh, lady that that come, is it not Robbie? What was her name? Jonah. Jonah. I mean, how many times have we thought about and prayed about Jonah since we've not seen her now probably for four or five weeks? And I mean, where is she? What she's doing? I don't know, but I do know one thing. God loves her. Amen. 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 And God wants us to love her and pray Amen. for her. And if we were to see her tonight after church or in the morning, should God make a way for us to see her? What would we say? What would we do? What kind of effect and impact would it have on her? Amen. I pray that it would have an impact on her. I went to, I went to, uh, uh, <clears throat> I was on up here the other day. Been a week and a half. I was messing with Sister Cindy's car. And uh, I met a gentleman in there named Justin. And I've been looking. He told me he's going to come to church. He's a real nice, distinguished young black gentleman, about six foot four, six foot five or six. But he's very pleasant. And I believe he's a Christian. I believe he knows and loves God. Amen. I'm looking for him to come. Why? Because he said he would. Amen. He said, Preacher, you've got to be kidding. How many people have told you they'd come? Amen. They're going to try it. They're going to come by to visit. Amen. And you don't really see them, uh, you know, when you think you're going to see them. You've got to have faith. Amen. You've got to hold on. You've yeah. got to follow on to know and believe that God's going to do it. Amen. I didn't have a lot, and I don't want to try to stretch it and make it to be a lot that it's not. I didn't know I even, even uh, uh, made a call because I didn't know. I just It's not often that I don't get any thoughts. And I just wasn't getting any thoughts, and I didn't know. And I, I just, I want God to use me. I want God, to, I want to be faithful, Brother Dick. I want to be all God would have me to be. I want to be real to the Lord. Amen. I don't want to let my prejudice or my biases of what somebody did to me three, four, five, six years, ten years ago, and how they treated me. And well, this person looks almost just like that person. And they're going to do you the same way. Forget all that garbage. Brother, get in this book and look the way Jesus has treated us. Let God come alive in us. Amen. Let God do the first works all over again in us. And let us learn how to be faithful. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I'm going to have Brother, Brother Donovan, would you like to come share something? Amen. Praise the Lord. I want the will of the Lord for our lives. Amen. That's what we want is the will of the Lord for our lives. Amen. Thank you, my brother. Praise the Lord. Love you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. See, yesterday I was down and sad and wonder what tomorrow will bring. Glory, he lives. But that's not what I want to talk to you about. 
forward a little bit. I want to talk to you about your name. You see, earlier today, uh, we were in a store, Indio, whatever the name, and uh, it was me and my wife. And, you know, uh, the wives, they shop different from mine. I go in the store to pick up something, and as soon as I see it, it's going to the cashier. Who yes. knows what I'm talking about? Yes. Right? yes. We hunt. But if the ladies, they go this way and that way and every way. They need to see all the aisles. And so we got separated. Because I'm going to the cashier. I found what I want. And then I hear, Hun. Yes. Spin around. I know my name was yes. called. And I know who called my name. Right. You see, one day, over 2,000 years ago, yes. Jesus said, Woman! Come on. And the woman turned her back, still wondering what's going on. He said, Mary! Yes. She turned around and said, Woman! Because now he knows who called her name. Amen. And he can relate that he was the master who called no. her name. Yeah. Amen. You see, this is the time when Jesus was called a master. Yes, sir. Now, let me tell you this. When you, if you ever get excited and want to play golf, and you want to be like Phil Nicholson or, or Tiger Woods. Then you get to the top level and they play the masters. Yeah. Which means you master the game. See, if you go into education or, or, or study in the field, the postgraduate highest level of the field is a master. Right. When you start going into PhDs, then you get more specific. You don't no longer master that field. You're, you're contributing knowledge to the area. Oh, yes. And they are specific. So master means someone who is in charge. <laughs> someone who, who knows a lot, who have a lot of knowledge. Don't, aren't you happy that your Lord is the master? Amen. Amen. Then why are you like that? Why aren't you enjoying this? You should be joyful that you're led by a master. Yes, amen. You see, you got to understand. If we really think about Mary's level of understanding and how she turns Come on. to call it master. You see, all Mary knows is that She's a servant. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get it. Come on. You see, you, see you, you call your master when you are the servant. Right. Amen. Right. I say it again. You call your master when you are the servant. Right. Are you the servant? Is he master? Yeah. Oh. Praise the Lord, because now tonight you know he's the master yes. and he's alive. Glory. Glory. Now, what is he master over? You see, three days ago, he was down there on our behalf, dealing and wheeling, right? and showing who is the boss. Come on. And he came up after that. Yes, sir. Amen. And before he ascended to his father, Hallelujah. he just take a break. Just a stop to yes, say sir. hi. Yes, sir. To the least of us. Yes. To yes. a Mary. Yes. Who, every time you read about Mary, Sister yes. Mary, <laughs> <laughs> woo, you mainly think 
about the mother Mary. Yeah. Or you think about the servant lady Mary. Mm -hmm. Sister Martha Mary. Yeah. yeah. But this Mary Magdalene yeah. was a different Mary. Right? right. 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 She was yeah. precious. Yeah. Come on. And Jesus said, Hi, Mary. I yes. know your name. Yes. yes. Right. Amen. Glory, glory. What else is he master over? See, when Mary came to the grave, the tomb, yes. and look inside, yes. he wasn't there. Come on. Right. Angel were there. Yes, sir. And the angel said unto her, Why are you looking for the living? I'm on the dead. Preach with me. Oh, come on, come on. Come on. You see, Jesus Christ is master over death and hell. Amen. Jesus Christ is master over the grave. Yes. He is the master of our lives. Yes. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. You see, it's interesting in the world that we're living in. And we try to use words for all different kind of things and not in the right way these days. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. When somebody is taking care of an, of an audience and they have the agenda. Come on. They call them master of <laughs> Which means, he said, when it starts and when it ends. Right. Are you getting where I'm going with this? Because Jesus is master. He knows your beginning and he knows your end and he knows your end between. And he directs you. Oh, yes, he does. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy One. Can you imagine if I was prepared for this message? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! Amen. Amen. In preparing, you give yourself. Jesus. You ask God. To anoint you and help you because you're worthless without him. That's it. Yes. That's right. Amen. Woo! I feel excited. I feel like I'm resurrected. That's good. Woo! I don't know why I'm doing this. I just feel a power and I can't contain it no more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we worship you. We worship you, Lord. Can I say, <laughs> when they put that title on anyone, it's a lot of responsibility. Yeah. See, um, when you are working, like I work as a chemist, I, I didn't have a master's degree in chemistry, I have a master of science in, in management and an MBA and a master of arts in theology. So my responsibility really is not in those things. But once you have the title master, <laughs> it means you're responsible for that subject matter area. Yes, yes amen. So if Jesus is master, like Mary says, yes. and Come he on. is responsible for the subject matter area, who do we go to? Come on. Or not to it. To whom it. do we pray? Yes. To whom do we ask for help? Glory to God. Glory to God. 
The one who is the master. Yes, yes. Yes. He asks for help. That's right. Glory, glory, See, glory. Yes. I run into a situation nowadays where I live long enough to know that our help cometh from the Lord. That's yes. right. Yeah. Did you know that Lord is another name for master? Yes, amen. If you're Lord, you're master. Yes. As a matter of fact, the British still do this kind of thing. Lord so and so, their master. Right. Mm -hmm. And what is getting interested in my life today is those who don't understand the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. Right. Amen. You see, it's one thing to say, I love you, Lord. Come on. And I worship you. Hallelujah. And I praise you. And I thank you for everything. But it's a total other thing to understand the power yes. of his resurrection. Yes. You talking about something that brings the dead to life. Right. Yes. Amen. You talking about something that changed the whole trajectory of stuff. Yeah. Right. Right. Yes. <laughs> Come on, brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you willing to subject to your master? Yes. Praise the Lord. Lord. Give everything. Yes. Grant it, Lord. Everything. everything. Amen. Yes. Everything. Yes. Come on. See? Can I? Uh, okay, so um, I am almost sure that Brother Peter will help me out if I don't get to go home if I talk something about my wife. <laughs> right, Peter? I know you will. <laughs> you will help me out. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> you know, this relationship that we have and we develop between ourselves yes, sir. as husband and wife, and, and we hear this, this word submit. Come on, brother. And, and we have problems with this word submit. Yes. And, and so, our understanding causes the issue. I want to tell you this, that on Resurrection Sunday, when Mary heard her, I'm telling you, Dave, if you don't believe, we can search it on ourselves. Jesus said, woman, come on. She didn't move. She, a matter of fact, she presumed it was the gardener who was talking to her. Same voice. Woman. Now, why would she get so happy when she heard her name? Amen. Amen. Think about it. She is fully submitted to the Lord. Yes. Yes. As our Lord and Savior. Amen. There is no wiggle room in this. Lord, you say this, I do that. Lord, you say this, I will do exactly that. Yes. Mary, go tell the Come disciples. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's good. Hundred miles away, she goes. Oh, I don't know whether she ran, she get on a horse, she get on a donkey, but she went. Amen. Full, no argument. Glory to God. That's how you treat your master. Glory, glory. So if you have anything within your heart or mind that you're struggling with, 
the master has the key. Yes. He yes. has the knowledge. He has everything to oh, fix that. Thank you, Jesus. And all you have to do is submit yourself. And the Lord will do it. Yeah. Now, I want to be clear that uh, I never say my wife don't submit because I tell you how it goes at our house. If we're going to have fish, it's not going to be chicken. It's going to be fish. Right. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> there might be time when I said, here's how it goes. I'm not quite sure about other people, so I only can talk about myself. Here is how it goes. Honey, do you want to have chicken or fish? I want fish. Are you sure you want fish? I just said I want fish. <laughs> you see, um, fish is kind of, and we have to go, and, you sure? Yes, I want fish. Come on, brother. My mind is stuck on fish. Maybe we can do it tomorrow. <laughs> no, I want fish today. Okay, oh, how do you want a fish? Because I don't want it fried. I want it steamed. Okay, honey. We'll have steamed fish. <laughs> <laughs> so she thinks you will, brother. Yes. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but I still have fish. <laughs> when Jesus is talking to our heart, there is no back and forth conversation, on, brother. Yeah. Wow, that's true. There is no, well, I mean, yes, you may get away if you do it that way or this way. There is only Jesus' way. Yes, sir. And the only way you can know Jesus' way is through his word. Yes. Can, can I tell you a little secret? We read it today. Colossians chapter number 1 and verse 16. A matter of fact, 17 says, In him everything consists. Right. Yes, sir. Yeah. In Christ our master, everything is made up. Yes, sir. He is in charge of it. Yes, sir. So, so you see, um, when you talk about water, you're talking about two little, three little molecules, two hydrogen, one oxygen, floating around, connected <laughs> together to make water. If you take one away, you don't have water anymore. Right. You have an hydroxide, you have an oxygen or hydrogen on them. And you put them together, see that force that put them oh. together? It's Jesus. He consists of that force. He makes it happen. And if you think that's small, think about a bigger picture. God, Jesus Christ, in everything, he comes, he made it happen together. See? So there's no reason why we shouldn't trust him. Right? right. If he put it together, yeah. he can take it apart. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. If he made this body, he can fix it. Right? I just have one more thing to say. One more thing. Glory to God. Help us, Lord. So, our little friend, Sister Mary. Amen. She was crying. Am I right? Yes, sir. Oh, I, I didn't hear anybody say amen. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, not just me. Preachers need a little help. Yes, amen. 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 That's good preaching, brother. So, 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 if, 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 if we just keep silent, the preacher go, oh, did I just say something? <laughs> you need to help the preacher out every now and again. Amen. So, yeah, she, she was crying, right? Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Woo! I wonder. Come on, brother. Right. 
instantly the tears turn into sight, yeah. into happiness and joy. No more tears. See, that's what happened when Jesus connected to you. Yes, amen. All your tears are gone. Matter of fact, I'm going somewhere where they never know. Don't love me. Love yeah, love me too. Yes. <laughs> but love him. Amen. He is the one who is going to be in charge of their way. No more tears. Right. Oh, if I was doing a pop quiz, I would have asked you when last of you cried. Mm. Come on, brother. And most of us couldn't remember when last they cried. Oh, praise the Lord, Brother Marcus. <laughs> And, 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 and the reason why I would ask you how long you cry was to ask you how far was it from happiness? Come on, brother. The tears. That's yeah. good. Amen. You see, if you have tears, hand them over to Jesus. Yes, amen. amen. Uh, praise God. You know what is interesting in those three or four verses of scripture in John 20? When you read in the Bible, the Bible says, and Jesus said to her, yet the Bible is saying, but she didn't know it was Jesus. Mm -hmm. How much of us live our lives like that? Come on, brother. Jesus is saying to you, yes. but you didn't know it was Jesus. And yes. see it. That's good. Praise the Lord. It's Resurrection Sunday. Yes. Have a newness of life. Yes. Know that He lives, and because He lives, you are alive. Yes. And it's up to us. It's up to us to make up that hundred and fifty. You know what's interesting about that number one hundred and fifty-three million, bro? Um. Let me see. Ah, this is this is just Brother Smith. That's a large number. <laughs> but the Bible says, "The dead in Christ shall rise mm -hmm. first. Yes, come on, come on, Amen. The alive one. <laughs> Yeah. Then we which are alive. Yes. yes. Glory. That's good. Amen. Come on. Is these two different numbers? I tell you what, it doesn't matter. Just be in one of those groups. Amen. Amen. That's right. Just make sure you're in one of those groups. Either going up there. Dead in Christ. That's it. Our life. Amen. 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 Thank you for putting up with me. Yeah. Thank you, Brother Smith. I tell you what, I appreciate Amen. Brother Donovan. Uh, yes. When I called him this afternoon, I didn't know what the Lord was doing and still am not sure what the Lord is doing concerning me in a lot of areas. But I know he's faithful. That's right. Yes. If I can trust him yes. and hold on. And allow his will to be accomplished in me. Yes. He's going to do good for all of us. Yes. I, I, I know my heartbeat. You know, I prayed. God knows. Brother Marcus, you think I love that boy right there? I prayed a whole bunch about God. If you've got one better for her, don't let him get in the way. That's God's love. That's the way God works. And I'm telling you, God's got your back. He's got your front. He's got your top, bottom, your sides. And if you'll just rest in the Lord, he does all things well. Amen. Amen. Y'all have been precious. And I appreciate you for loving and praying. Please continue to pray. You know, John Maxwell used to say everything rises and falls in leadership. And the pastor of the church has got a pretty good-sized bullseye on him. Amen. And I really need God's help. Yeah. 
I really need God's help. And do you think God don't know that? But I said years and years and years ago, I remember I was evangelizing at the time. And I'm only going to keep you a minute and a half or so with this. But I remember I was at Walmart and standing in line with Sister Burkett, Bill Burkett's wife. And it was on the Inquirer, I think was the magazine, about Jimmy Swaggart, and I hadn't heard. And I would be shocked if I didn't break down and start crying. And if I didn't, it was probably because I just thought it was just lies and jargon. But I told my family, and I really believe this, I didn't, I wasn't the kind that turned on the TVs when I went into motels and stuff like that. Almost never. But I did listen to a few of his sermons. But I believe he was America's preacher at one time. Yes. And I believe that America has gotten guilty and gotten spoiled to just getting preached to instead of preaching with. Mm. Instead of praying with. Yeah. If you spent Sunday afternoon seeking the Lord, I, it ain't that I blow the rest of the week, but if you'll spend Sunday afternoon seeking the Lord like you were on the hot seat, you'll come to church more prepared to pull it on through. Make something happen for the kingdom. The gates of hell, you hear what I'm saying? They can't hinder the work of God. Unless we let them. Would you stand tonight? Thank God for each of you. We love you. It seems like we just hardly ever give you a kind, helping word. But I'm telling you what, if you can hold on, we're going to be home soon. And uh, the Lord is going to use us more down here now. Amen? Amen. Y'all are precious. Don't Robert look good tonight? Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Linda, his wife, will be wanting to take pictures of him uh, when he gets home. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Brother Peter, if you will, dismiss us in a word of prayer tonight. Oh, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for everything that you have accomplished or done in our life. Thank you. Each and every day, we recognize your good things. Thank you, Lord. Mary call you Rabuni. We know in the world people was calling you Rabbi. And others have called Rabbi or Rabbi. It's different than Rabuni. It's the one who made the doctrine. Thank you for that. Because oh, yes, Lord. You are the master of everything. And we want to be like you. Lead us, guide us, and show us the way, oh Lord. Yes. We thank you for this moment which we spend together and build our future person. Yes. Because we want to become like you want us to be. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we know you're going to accomplish that. And then it's of us. Heal our bodies. For the glory and for our goodness. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless you. Shake hands with one another. Have a great, great rest of your evening and, and weekend the Lord should God tarry. Amen. Yes. God bless you.